What's up my barbershop family? It's MG. And right now I'm in the barbershop by myself. I'm getting ready to take you guys on our first ever barbershop field trip. A behind the scenes look at the first annual Damar Johnson Celebrity Basketball Game. So, time to leave the shop, take the show on the road, and go get go talk some sports with some today's players. What's up my barbershop fans? It's Damar Johnson. Welcome to my first event. Got behind the scenes, man. Victor Oladipo, more rushing yards, DeMarco Murray or Sean McCoy? Your, red, your team, the Washington Redskins, RG3, over and under 10 starts. <laughs> more, uh, more receiving yards, um, ODB or Megatron? Mega. More uh, total touchdowns, Russell Wilson or Cam Newton? And the rest is total wins. That's your team. That's enough. Never. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Marco Murray or the Sean McCoy? Marco Murray. Okay. Over and under uh, 10 wins, 10 games played for RG3. Over. More receiving yards, ODB or Megatron? Megatron, no question. More total touchdowns, that's passing and rushing. Cam Newton or Russell Wilson? Um, I'll probably say Cam Newton. Steph Curry, the best shooter of all time? Nah. Who is? Right. Appreciate you, brother. What do you think about the state of the big men in the NBA right now? Oh, tough. Big men ain't going nowhere. I mean, you, you can't, win, can't win everything without the big men. So the big men ain't going nowhere. You go small ball for a little while, you see what San Antonio does right now. You'll see a lot of that'll kind of cut out a lot of the small ball. Over and under this year, we got for the football season, over and under 1,700 yards rushing for Adrian Peterson. Over. Over. Uh, more combined touchdowns. That's passing and rushing. Cam Newton, Russell Wilson. Russell. Russell. Ah! I'll go to Russell. You go? I'll go to Russell. Russell Wilson? Yeah. Over 110 games starting for RG3. Ah! Under. Ah! Under. I'm still hanging. Ah! I'm still hanging with him. I'm still. I'm go still over. going over. I'm going over. More rushing yards. DeMarco Murray or Shady McCoy? DeMarco Murray. Yeah. More uh, receiving yards. ODB, make a try. Megatron. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Megatron. We agreeing on everything. And then his last question for the big man. Best big man in the NBA. Demarcus Cut. Eh. I'll say the same thing. They better not trade him. They stupid if they trade him. No Dwight Howard right now. No Dwight Howard. Demarcus Cut. Demarcus Cut's the best though. Over under 1,700 yards rushing for AP. Um, if anything, over. More yards receiving, Odell Beckham or Megatron? I go with uh, experience, but um, I'm sure um, Odell, you know, it, it can happen. He, he, can, he, he, he has the ability 
to to get more yards, but I go with the experience and say Megatron. But you know, Odell, that man. Absolutely. More total touchdowns. So that's rushing, passing. Russell Wilson, Cam Newton. That's a toss up. Um, but I would say as as much as um, Seattle running read option, I would I would say um, Russell. More rushing yards. Shady McCoy in um, Buffalo or the Eagles running back Marco Murray. I know you feel it, so. Nah, nah, I'm a cowboy. Um, that's a toss up, but uh, I'm gonna go with Shady. You say you're a Cowboys fan? Didn't know that. Am I wrong? Tony Romo is not a problem. He's good enough to win with. Not to me. He's good enough to win with. Oh, I ride with him. Okay. That's my quarterback. Okay, all day long. DeMar does a show with us on a weekly basis, and he gives us all kinds of stories. Can you give us a story about DJ? First of all, when I when I first got to um, when I got to Denver, um, you know, he gave my number. He had uh, yeah, he had number three, and uh, you know, um, you know, that's my little man. So obviously, um, he knew it meant something to me, and uh, he gave me my number. I don't even think did I have to pay for it. Nah, you you offered to give me a, a watch one time, a black diamond watch. I ain't wanted. Did I renege? I ain't wanted. Okay. Yeah. Well, why not? Cause I ain't want no black diamonds. Okay. When I got there, you know, obviously Melo was uh, suspended, and Jr was suspended, and uh, you know DJ my man, so we hang with each other um, off the court as well. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he my man, and uh, we used to sit around and uh, talk to each other about you know us being able to get it done until they was able to come back and get with the squad and you know we held it down. You, you remember what you remember what y'all went? Why they were out? Nah, I don't I don't remember the record but man we, we, we did the best we could because Kenya was hurt too. We still we still was in the playoffs. Steph Curry, is it too early calling the best shooter in NBA history? Nope. He's the best? I mean I, I no disrespect to Ray and Reggie. Mark Price, um, Mark Moo, um, Steve Kerr, John Paxson, those guys. He got a he got a ways to go, but for right now, I mean, he's doing a whole bunch of front run. And um, you know, I, I can only see him getting better. You know what I mean? that and what makes it so unique about him is the fact that he can get his shot off. Himself, you know, they don't have to come off screens or anything like that. You know, not taking away from those great shooters, but you know, he's just got a unique talent to where it's, you know he can do it all with the ball and everything too. So um, you know, he's going to continue to be a tough cover, and um, he's only going to get better shooting the basketball. And uh, I think he'll go down as a great shooter. I'm with you, Chuck. I, mean, I grew up a fan of all those dudes. I'm a shooter. We just watched the NBA Finals with essentially no sense. So it's a conversation that we've had on the show for a while. And he's our resident pro, and you're on your way to the Hall of Fame. Is the big man in danger in the NBA? No, nah, I wouldn't say that. Um, when you got guys like um, Mark Gasol, you know what I mean, involving like he has, and um, and Anthony Davis. And who? Marcus Cousins. And the Cousins play at center. Center. Yeah. See, I ain't even know that. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, he finished. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's, it's it's gonna keep getting better. But that's in every position, though. You know what I mean? Like when when uh when we thought it was all gonna be, you know, Mike, and that's it. You know what I mean? But the game has changed so much. You know what I mean? Since Mike, you know, he's always gonna be the greatest player to ever play the game. But you know, these guys at different sizes can do so many different things. You got guys 6'8", six, 6'9", six, like LeBron, handling the ball like a guard and doing things that guards do. You know what I mean? The game is just going to keep changing and evolving and get better and better. You know what I mean? You're going to see certain big guys doing things that traditional big guys don't do. You know what I mean? Um, Shaq is always going to be Shaq. You know what I mean? I don't think there's ever going to be a dominant center like Shaq ever again. But at the same time, you know, these guys are doing, you know, just a lot of different things that 
big men are not accustomed to doing. And, you know, you can look at Anthony Davis and the proof is in the proof. Hey, I appreciate your time, brother. It's been a real. Appreciate everybody, man. Appreciate MG. My man AI coming out. First annual Damar Johnson Celebrity Weekend. We'll see you next year.